What are the data types available in Java? Give examples. In Java, data types define the kind of data that a variable can hold. Java is a strongly typed language, which means every variable must be declared with a specific type. These types are broadly classified into two categories, primitive and reference data types. One, primitive data types. There are eight built-in data types in Java that fall under this category. Byte. It holds very small integers from minus 128 to 127. Example. Byte age equals 25. Short. Stores slightly larger integers from minus 32,768 to 32,767. Example. Short year equals 2024. Int. This is the most commonly used data type for integers, with a range of about minus 2 billion to plus 2 billion. Example. Int salary equals 50,000. Long. Used for larger integers if int is not sufficient. Example. Long population equals 7800000000L. Note the L at the end, which indicates it's a long value. Float. Stores fractional numbers, accurate to about 6 to 7 decimal digits. Example. Float price equals 19.99F. Here, the F at the end indicates it's a float. Double. More precise than float, it stores decimal numbers with up to 15 decimal digits. Example, double distance equals 12,345.6789. Char, stores a single character, such as a letter or symbol. Example, char grade equals a boolean, holds one of two values, true or false. Example, boolean is java fun equals true. Two, reference data types. These types store references to objects, and they are not predefined by the language. Instead, they are created by the programmer. String. A sequence of characters, typically used to represent text. Example. String name equals John Doe. Arrays. A collection of elements of the same type. Example. Int. Scores equals 90, 85, 78. Classes and objects. When you define a custom class, its variables are reference types. Example, person person one equals new person. In summary, Java's primitive data types provide a way to handle simple values like numbers, characters, and true slash false, while reference data types allow more complex objects and data structures.